Hi everyone, welcome to Informatica support video. This is Harsha Kaknani from Informatica GCS. In this video, I will be talking about Unison enhancements in Axon version 7.2. Following are the topics covered in this video. Deferred active columns in Unison, Save default layout, Save layout and Reset layout options, Excel export option in Unison. So let's get started. In Axon Previous Versions, we have the display settings in the admin panel. This allows the Axon Super Admin to configure the default active facets and the order in which they must appear in the Unison grid for all the Axon users. This, however, does not include any settings for the Unison grid such as which columns should be visible in the facet grid, what should be the order of the columns, and what should be the size of the column display. In order to address these requirements, a new feature called Default Active Columns in Unison Grid is introduced in Axon version 7.2. This feature, also called as the User Preferences, allows Axon users to customize the column list for every facet in Unison, to reorder the list for every facet in Unison, and to resize the column width for every facet in Unison. It includes the following three new options available in the Unison Grid. First, Save Default Layout, Second, Save Layout, and Third, Reset Layout. Now let's discuss each of these options one by one. Save Default Layout option. This option is only visible to all the Axon Super Admin users. The Axon Super Admins can configure a default layout for every facet in Unison at the organization level, that is, Global Preferences. The configuration done by any super admin will apply for all Axon users, that is, the logged in users as well as the non logged in users, irrespective of their profiles. Next, Save Layout option. This option is visible to all Axon users, that is, logged in as well as non logged in users. This feature allows Axon users to set their own preferences for every facet in Unison Grid also known as personal preferences. That is, it allows to override the global preferences saved by the super admin using the save default layout option. Next, reset layout option. This option is visible to again all Axon users, including logged in as well as non-logged in users. This option allows Axon users to reset their own layout preferences back to the global preferences, that is, the default layout set by the super admin. Order of Preference in Axon Following is the order of preference that is implemented in Axon. First, User Customize Preferences that is saved using the Save Layout option that is done by an individual Axon user. Second, the Global Preference that is saved using the Save Default Layout option by the Super Admin. Third, Default Application Configuration. This is applicable when no preferences that is either global or user preferences is set. Now let us discuss about a new feature in Axon version 7.2. In Axon previous versions, there are certain known issues with the CSV export involving special characters or multi-byte characters. In order to address these issues, Excel export option is introduced in Axon version 7.2 for every facet in the Unison grid. Now let us understand how to use these new options from the Action 7.2 Unison Grid. Now let us discuss about the first option that is Save Default Layout option. First, the Save Default Layout option is visible to only the Super Admin in Axon. This feature allows the Super Admin to set the default layout for all the facets which will be applicable for all the Axon users. So let me do that. I can add or remove columns and resize the width of the column. For each and every facet available.
okay so now i will be showing you how to save this option so i have made a few changes for all the facets added new columns removed a few columns and reset the width of the columns so when i click on the save default layout it says the grid layout preferences will be changed for all the users and we should proceed for this now if i refresh the screen the same layout will be available for me as well as for other axon users let me log out and show the, the layout for a non-logged in user As we can see, the layout is same. Now let's discuss about the save layout option that, that is available for all Axon users. Now I'm logged in as a web user in Axon. Let me resize and add a few columns. Alright. So, whenever an Axon user wants to override the global preferences that is set by the super admin, the user can use the save layout option. As we can see, the save default option is not visible for a web user in Axon. So, now I will save the layout. Now, if I refresh the screen, I can see all the columns that now if I log out and check the layout for a non logged in user, it will be saying that was set by the super admin. Now let's discuss about the last option that is reset layout option. Let me log in again using the web user profile. Now if an Axon user wants the global preferences to be set back again, we can make use of the reset layout option. So this brings in the default layout that is configured by the super admin. Now let me show you the XA export option in Unison that is introduced in Axon 7.2. Here we have an XA option. So this XA option is available only on the Unison grid page for all the facets. That's it for this video. In case of any queries on this video or any suggestions or feedback, kindly reach out to us using these links mentioned here. Thank you for watching the video.